Good evening, I'm Renee Allen. Sitting in for Darla and Dalford, Governor John Bell Edwards was in Lafayette earlier today to have a discussion in regards to signing the Criminal Justice Reform Act five years ago. News 10's Jasmine Dean joined us live to talk about that signing. Jasmine. Renee, Governor John Bell Edwards visited Lafayette earlier today to discuss funds dedicated to victim services here at Faith House Family Justice Center of Acadiana. This comes five years after the ju criminal justice reform. The reason we're here today at the um, Faith House and is to talk to them about what they're doing for survivors of domestic abuse. Governor John Bell Edwards visited the Family Justice Center of Acadiana where he spoke with survivor advocates, social workers, and law enforcement about domestic violence across the state of Louisiana. Since the signing of the Bipartisan Criminal Justice Reform Act five years ago, a discussion was had to determine how the reinvestment of savings would be used. The legislation required that Whatever savings were realized, 70 percent had to be reinvested. The roundtable discussion focused on resources and services available to survivors, as well as ways to create more services and shelters. Governor Bell Edwards says a reinvestment of $17 million from the criminal justice reform is to be used for victim services. Well, this center has, has benefited from these reinvestments, and one of the things we're talking about is getting into central Louisiana with additional investments uh, from savings from the criminal justice reform efforts. With today being the last day for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, Governor Edwards says although the state has made some progress in allocating reinvestments for victim services, there is still more progress to make. But we still have more to do, and I think that that was evidenced by the conversation we had today. With today being the last day of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, the governor's visit is not only impactful, but shows just how much progress Louisiana is making for domestic violence survivors. In Lafayette, Jasmine Dean, KLFY News 10.